Hello, uh, my name is Paul Schofield and I'm here to announce the, uh, the bringing out of a DVD on a tutorial for three string cigar box guitar. Uh, I don't use effects, I play along the original Delta style music, uh, which of course they would have had just acoustic. So although I do use an amplifier, it's only to uh, give more accent to the sound as I think most people these days would like to use it to, to perhaps play in front of people. And of course these instruments are fine if you're just in a quiet environment, but um, they do need amplification uh, if, you're, if you're out and about. So my style is very much along the country blues level, as opposed to what seems to be these days the trend to use these lovely little machines is a, is a kind of a thrash box really you know they're they're and they're very impressive with it you know but they sound very electric they sound like an electric guitar with lots of distortion lots of reverb and uh and, and plenty of drive you know and that's got its place for sure but it's just that i i can't find too much of the way of the the original style uh, in addition to to that i also have learned to do an alternating thumb on the guitar between the, the two, uh, the, the bass and the middle string, whilst playing a melody over the top. And I've looked very hard on the internet and I can't find anybody um, at all that's actually doing this style. And it does, uh, when I get the reaction to people on the street, they wonder how I can get this kind of dance music from just three strings. But uh, that will be in the tutorial because the alternating bass is quite well, quite involved, although it'll be well explained. Uh, but now I'm gonna just show you how to play a version of Robert Johnson's Come Into My Kitchen. Uh, this is my 100 year old chocolate box guitar. It's, um, it's very old, as, as I said, and it's, uh, a friend gave me the box, it's lovely, proper wood on top. Then. Now I'm in G, G, D, G tuning, which is what, again, the cigar box guitar world seems to be obsessed with. Um, in the tutorial, I will teach about how I would advise to, to go into other tunings by using different strings. And it'll give a much more range from dark to very um, up tempo and skippy. Okay, but I've got this down to G, uh, G, D, G because I think most people now seem to be in that, that tune in. Okay, so I'll play through and then I'll go through with you after, okay? Okay, so what we have there is this uh, driving. It's absolutely essential with this kind of um, mono bass that you try to get that thump with the palm muting. Um, you know, with other with other types, you can let those strings. So you can let the strings ring, but with this, you need to keep the palm on the strings. Otherwise, it's, if you go, it just runs away. So, and then what you can do is brush down on the two strings there, if when you get used to it. So rather than just the one, you know, 
so it gives it more accent. Okay, so to start with, we just go the first lick is so four strikes on the bass one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's from the fourth to the seventh fret. So, so it's open. Fourth to seven. Then so that second riff was so third to fourth. So that was so up to the seventh there. Second to third. Okay, and then uh, you can use the slide, or you can just use your finger if it's easier. So it's so it's the second fret, center string to the third, and then immediately strike the third on the outer string with the slide. So when you've done that, take slide off, strike the string outside, then back on the, the third fret. So that's from the fifth to the third. So it's okay. And then you go from the second. Fret to the third. Okay. You're always just keeping keep keeping this bass going all the time. So it's Open out side string, second to third. Then we have our turn right. So that's basically you just pinch all three strings to make it easy, and then you you slide from the so it's from the middle string from the second to the third. Second fret, first fret, open, using three strings. So and then a nice little effect is to snap, and then whilst doing that, pulling down on the third, and then you strike on the twelfth fret up there. And then if you wish, you can go from the 12th to the 15th. 10th to 12th. So that's, uh, from, you can go from the 10th to the 12th. 12th to 15th. Any combination that you like. On the turnaround, rather than just use your string, your fingers to go, uh, I'll take the slide off, to go um, straight down. You can let your finger, just let, it's the beauty of the cigar box guitar, just let, just let your fingers run. kinds of things like that. So uh, I hope that's that's helpful. Um, I will be doing a couple more uh, tutorials as well um, and it, 
in the, the DVD, there will be it's about three hours worth of uh, with temperature and slow progress as well, learning how to use a slide. Um, and of course, this alternate alternating base, which really I believe will set you apart from because I've not, as I said, I've not found anyone yet. I'd love to know actually from some, from anyone if they have found someone that's using an alternative alternating base on the cigar box guitar. I'll give you a, an example of alternating bass. I'll just turn that down on there for you. Right. Oh, my tune. It's gone out of tune, just a sec. It's because I've got the, the guitar way down to G and I usually play up around the B. called Happy Days. It's um, a piece that I will be teaching in the tutorial. Um, it didn't sound quite right there because it's, it's in too low a tune and it should be. The strings are uh, actually meant to be from uh, at least an A at the bottom and up to a D and it sounds totally different then. But anyway, I hope that's helped and uh, I'll post something else on the, the, the videos as well on the YouTube. It's, uh, it's new to me. So uh, I'll see you in the next one.